everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today what I wanted to talk about was using the existing RTP tiles that come with RPG Maker, MV in this case, to make new tiles. A lot of people complain that the RTP tiles that they get are lacking and they don't have what they want. And I mean I can kind of see that because there's a lot of random things that come here and um, you know you have to... <laughs> kind of improvise with these. Um, so in this case I'm just going to be using the modern tiles because um, that's mostly what I'm good at and using what is already here to make some new tiles and I'll be showing you how I do this so hopefully um, you can walk away and do this yourself. It's really simple um, so don't stress just stay with me and um, watch this video. The first thing that I do when I'm editing tiles is I look for a reference you don't always have to, sometimes you have the reference already in your mind if you know exactly what you want. That's not always the case for me, so um, let's just do that right now. My favorite place to look for references are a couple different places. I'll just go through them really quick. Um, this is pretty common sense. Anyways, um, so first one is Tumblr. Um, just you know, type in a theme in the search bar and you'll get tons of results and pictures. I like Tumblr because that's a lot of people posting on Tumblr are pretty much my age. I mean, so, you know, I'm going to find stuff that's appealing to me on Tumblr. Another place is um, DeviantArt. They have a an entire um, section on their website devoted to stock images. I mean, you don't have to look at stock images, you could look at anything. But with stock images, um, they'll post tons of angles of what you're actually looking at, so you have a better idea of what you want to make, or you know the angles of what you're going to make. So that's really handy. Another place, um, this is actually kind of funny. I don't know if you heard of Sims 4, but um, so Sims 4. This I like looking at the furniture and trying to recreate furniture from. Um, uh, Sims custom content. Um, it's pretty much a 3D model, so you can look at it in the game if you have it, or you could just look at uh, images on the website. Um, this stuff isn't super realistic, so it's easier to recreate, in my opinion at least, and I think that a lot of these models that you see are really creative and um, you know, something that sticks out in a game, so it's something that's easier to recreate and you know, people will know what it is. That's what I think anyways. And so the last one is Pinterest. Um, like like Tumblr, Tumblr, you just type in what theme you want, um, what kind of furniture, anything that you're looking for, and um, it'll come up. If you have a hard time recreating, um, you know, things from real images like this, you could even type in um, pixel art. And it might be easier to recreate something that is similar to the uh, um, RPG Maker aesthetic, you know, the 2D kind of look. So you could even type in pixel art and, you know, recreate things, uh, use that as a reference. So anyways, I already decided what I'm going to do, so um, let's just get into it. So I decided on these this triangular nightstand with these wicker drawers. I think this might be something that I could recreate. So let's try to get it as close as we possibly can. Um, and I'll show you how I do it. So the first thing that I do is I pull up all the tiles that I have. And I try to find a piece that looks similar to um, one of these pieces. So let's look for the drawers. So let's take a piece from there. Alright guys, so I'm just going to speed this up, otherwise it'll get really boring and you'll probably turn off the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk about what I did briefly. Hopefully you get the gist of this. You've used a photo editing program to change colors and things like that. Um, that's mostly what I'm going to be doing other than just copying and pasting. So let's just briefly watch and see what I'm doing. So let's take a piece from 
All right, so as you can see, I'm looking at my picture and looking back. I'm trying to match the color as close as I can. And I'm using this piece. It already has that tra uh, trapezoid type of shape. So that's pretty easy already. Um, and so now I'm just copying and pasting until I get the shape that I want. All right, and now I'm getting another piece so I can make legs for the table. They're not exact, but I actually think they look cooler that way. Um, it's fine, it's not a test, so I can do it however I want. And then I found this dresser set that are that it's wooden, so it kind of matches the texture of the table that I wanted to do. So I'm just going to use some pieces from this uh, dresser to help make the nightstand. All right. And I tried shrinking the drawers, but they um, it didn't work, so I had to copy and paste again until I got the shape that I wanted, because as they are right now, they're too big, so I had to shrink them a little bit. Alright, and so now I'm taking pieces from the dresser and putting them into the actual um, slots for the nightstand drawers. You could probably do this yourself, but I'm not an artist and I didn't know how to do it, so I just copied. Alright, and now I'm looking at the picture again, um, and I forgot that I had to make the trapezoids um, the opposite way, so I'm fixing that right now. Alright, and now I'm rotating the posts so that way they make that trapezoid shape that you um, saw previously. Now when you rotate things, at least in Photoshop, it kind of blurs them a little bit, which makes sense. Um, so that's, um, you know, when you're making shapes like this that isn't straight line, it's a little bit harder. Alright, and so now I'm taking the top of that, um, the dresser and putting it on the nightstand because my nightstand is also wooden. And I'm taking the knobs and making drawers. I'm trying to fix the blurriness right there from when I rotated the post, but that's not working. So instead I'm just going through and erasing the extra pixels. So that way it looks a little bit cleaner. All right, and I looked at my picture again and I realized that I had legs on there. So I put those legs I got previously from that um, night table and then I'm adding a shadow. So that way it fits in better with the RTP tiles. All right, and now I'm comparing what I have to the actual RTP tile. And I want it to match as close as possible so that way it'll fit in with the other modern tiles. So I'm taking existing pieces um, to add some texture to what I created so it matches a little bit better. And honestly, it may have been quicker to just draw these, um, but I like just copying and pasting. And so now looking at it, I realize it looks kind of off, so I'm trying to adjust it so that way it looks a little bit better. I don't know if it's just in my head, but it looks crooked. And then here I am again copying and pasting um, more lines from what I got in the RTP. And I'm looking at the picture again, comparing and making sure it matches both the RTP and the picture because my picture is the goal, but so is matching the existing RTP, if that makes sense. So really quick, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a small room so we can test out the tile that we just made and see how it looks in the editor and in the game as well. Um, so hopefully you guys can walk away with this video knowing how to make your own tile sets like this. See it's really simple all you gotta do is just basically copy and paste and if you can't get something right the first time that you really want to do don't stress out about it. You can ask other people for help or 
if you if it looks terrible I mean it just is it's a complete mess just um, improvise do something a little bit more easier you know in your skill level and work your way up all it takes is practice I swear I have no artistic ability at all so if you like this video um, hit the like button or hit the dislike button I guess that also helps um, leave me feedback in the comments if you think it looks crooked or weird or doesn't match let me know all right so here's the tile that we have in the game all right, but it looks good to me anyways so thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed this